What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLongware and in today's video, I want you to check your sprinklers. Let me explain. So one of the most important steps that I feel before any overseed is to check your sprinkler coverage or check your sprinkler system as a whole. I mean, you should be doing this throughout the season, but sometimes, you know, you just things just get left to the wayside. You just think, oh, everything's going good. Everything looks good. And then, you know, sometimes you have a couple of dry spots and it could just be from the heat. You know, you could be getting a, you know, a heat wave going on. And I experienced that myself here in Jersey, but sometimes, you know, sometimes things need to be adjusted. Sometimes things aren't always put in the correct way. And what better way to do it and get a fix now before you put down an overseed or if you're doing a lawn renovation you're doing a total kill off do it now do it in august do it in early mid-august get that leveling done for you know if you have to dig trenches like i'll show you what i had to do here in a second but get it done now because once that falls that once that you know grassy goes down i really try not to mess around too much with the yard i just want that stuff to germinate i want that stuff to grow i really don't want to touch those spots so i'll show you what i experience here at my house before I show you this section that I fix, another thing is grass seed is expensive, guys. Right now, uh, the, the grass seed that I bought, it's $218 for a 50 pound bag. That doesn't include shipping because I'm able to go to Tucker Turf Farms and get the Mountain View seed myself. But if you factor in shipping, you know, that's pretty expensive for a bag of grass seed. Now, don't get me wrong, that grass seed is really good grass seed. I saw really great success with it. That's why I'm using it again this year. But if you're spending that kind of money, you want to make sure that your sprinkler system is running right. You want to make sure that those sprinkler heads in individual spots are running right. So this is your time. This is your prime time. Right now in August, before September comes, uh, I usually throw down Labor Day weekend. That's why I'm stressing to get out there now and check your sprinklers out. So let me get you over to the section that I fixed. So here's what I'm talking about, a perfect example of a sprinkler coverage adjustment. So as you can see here, I have a trench along here. I have a sprinkler down at the end there. And then I have a sprinkler that I also put down here by the end of the fence. This area of my yard was getting drier than it normally would. It was going dormant quicker than other areas of my yard. And it was basically based on the sprinkler coverage. I had a sprinkler about right here along the sidewalk right here and it covers this area over here so it's got a far distance to reach i do have a sprinkler over there in the middle but it just wasn't getting enough water so what i ended up doing was tapping off of this line right here you can see you got it's really dormant right now because i was tearing through it and digging a trench right along here i put some topsoil in there but i'm going to put some probably in additional either some kind of co compost or just regular plain topsoil i do plan on putting tenacity down when i go to seed so if there are any weed seeds that germinate or any kind of thing that i disturb from you know digging the trench it'll, it'll help it if not we'll hit it with some post-emergent herbicides in the springtime if anything else does come through but for now you can see the trench came down i got my sprinkler coverage where i want it and it, obviously this area has actually recovered pretty well i mean there's still a couple spots obviously right along here where the trench was at you know they're not going to really probably recover until i throw down a seed but for now i'm super happy with it so the best part about having a sprinkler system app on your on your phone is you i could stand right here on the sidewalk i don't have to go to the main controller to turn anything on i use the ratio app i have the ratio three uh, controller. I really like that controller. I know there are other brands on the market. That's just happened to what I got for well, the time when I was putting my sprinkler system in myself. I'm sure other ones work great. Ratio, haven't had a problem with it. So if you have any other controllers out there, uh, let me know. Let me know how you feel about them. I was actually looking into uh, Rainbird had one at the time and then Orbit was another one. They had the Beehive, I believe. So if you have any of those, let me know what you think of those ones and leave it down in the comment section below. So all I gotta do is hit the run button right here. Give it a second. I'm probably gonna get wet because it's gonna pop up right here. So we're getting our quartz paved in my development. So as you can see, there are some lines painted in the street. I can't wait till this project is done because this quartz just looks horrible. They paved our main road last summer and now they're finally finishing everything off in the court. So hopefully that gets done before September. So if they have to do any curb work, it does, it gets done because that was a mess as well. But anyway, going back to the sprinkler system now, you can see this one right here is the main one that I branched off of. I branched off of this one, I ran one down here. That section over there across from where the corn is growing up against the fence, 
that section never got watered. So my plan this year is to get some good grass seed down there, get that growing in so this is all grass all the way down. Should have probably did that when I originally put everything in, but you know, sometimes you just want to get stuff done, you know? So I got that one over there in that corner as well. So that's covering this space over here as well. We've got the one down here at the, the curb line right here where it meets the street. So everything is getting nice coverage now, even coverage, which is great. Um, you guys know I put this in myself. If I could do it over again, I would probably do things different, but you know, you live and you learn. That's what I say, but I'm super happy with this. It's done. Now all I have to do is just worry about throwing down the grass seed Labor Day weekend. And another thing about my channel is, is I'm not afraid to show the ugly because this, let's be honest, this looks pretty ugly right now. But I know come fall, once I throw down that seed, it gets germinated, everything's gonna come in great. I got that sprinkler coverage down pat, so next year it's gonna look good. And I've been, I actually really been super happy with my fertilizer program this year. Probably gonna continue the same program as and next year, just add a couple things, tweak a, th a couple different things, but I just know you guys why I say all the time you gotta trust the process once you trust that process you're good to go so like I was saying in the beginning of the video go out check your sprinkler heads as well I went out to all my zones I found a couple of the MP rotators that they weren't rotating properly so what I did was is I went on sprinkler warehouse I got the ones to replace them and then I got some additional ones to have in my inventory just in case anything does break down I have extras on hand Sprinkler Warehouse is a great website. Found it myself, not affiliated with them. I'll leave it linked below, go check them out. That's where I get all my MP rotator heads. They're very affordable on there. This one right here is a MP rotator. This is a MP3000, so this one throws further. I use this one in multiple spots of my yard. This one right here, this is the MP2000. It throws a little bit further, it has the blue uh, head to it. This one has the yellow one. So the yellow one throws further. There's a whole chart that Hunter has for it. I'll throw it up here so you guys can see. I've talked about it in my past. I really do love the MP rotators. I think they're one of the best sprinkler heads. Go check out that video. I'll explain why I think they are. I'll leave it linked below. Go check out that video why I personally find the MP rotators easy to work with and why they are the best. I go in a full in depth about why I think they're the best. Go check it out. The other tool that I really love with the MP rotators is this tool right here. This controls the distance. This controls the radius to so the different degrees. This tool is just so easy to adjust everything. If you do get an MP rotator, you definitely want to get one of these. They're very inexpensive, little plastic orange things just like this. You can find them. Sometimes you can find them at Home Depot or Lowe's. They're definitely on Sprinkler Warehouse's website as well. Like I said, go check out Sprinkler Warehouse for all your sprinkler needs. And again, I'm not affiliated with them. Just really like getting easy access to things that I need. So just a quick video for you guys here today. Get out there, go check your sprinkler system. You're gonna thank yourself later. You should have been checking it throughout the season as well so you're not wasting water like I kinda was. But now it's all fixed, it's good for next year. Go check it now because the day of seeding, do you really wanna go out there and say Fuck, everything's broken or that sprinkler head's broken. Get it done now, you're gonna thank yourself later. If you enjoyed today's video or if you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really actually does help out with the channel. And if you have any questions or concerns on today's video, leave it down in the comment section below. And I usually try and always get back to everyone. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok, go check me out there. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Jesus, I'm gonna get wet in this set. I'm gonna get soaked right here in this segment.